put the money in a bag of salt and watch what happens to your money. If you have been looking for a way to invite money, favor, blessings, prosperity into your life and things are not coming easily for you, you should do this simple spiritual exercise. Why not take a leap of faith and do this simple spiritual exercise and watch what will happen to your money? This is a simple spiritual exercise for many of you that don't know. It will only take you a few minutes to do this. And if you do this with faith, like we always do on this channel, you will thank God for watching this video. So my name is Precious and this is Precious Spiritual TV. On this channel, we pray. We seek the face of God Almighty. We do spiritual exercises and God Almighty has been very faithful. If you are here watching me at this time, put your name in the comment section. Let us know where you're watching from and God Almighty will bless you. Without taking much time, let's do this right now. I really want to watch this and do this immediately. Okay? And watch how doors of blessings, doors of miracles are going to open for you in the mighty name of God. Now, are you going through lack of money? Money doesn't stay in your hand. You're always begging. Okay? Or you lose money. And you wonder when your own money is going to come. Please do this right now. And God Almighty will bless you. So now, the title says, put the money in a bag of salt. A bag of salt. Not just any salt though. A bag of sea salt. You know, many of you that watch me on this channel will know that I use sea salt a lot. Because sea salt has a lot of powers. A lot of spiritual benefits. And one of it is to flow money to you. To flow abundance to you to flow prosperity to you, everything that you desire to flow it to you. You may think you know this, what I'm saying here already, you don't. So just continue to watch this and you will thank yourself for watching this video. If you agree that this will work like fire for you, just type I agree in the comment section and God Almighty will bless you abundantly. So now, when I talk about a bag of salt, I'm talking about uh, 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 like a bag of sea salt. Sea salt is pure. It is organic. It's natural. So when you want to use your salt, make sure you use the one that is sealed, like a sealed bag or salt. That's what you want to use. It doesn't have to be a big bag of salt. I'm not talking about uh, those big bag of salt. It could be like a small size. As long as it's a bag, that's what you want to get. Okay, the one that has not been tampered with at all. Okay, you have never opened it. You just bought it right from where you, you buy it, right? And you may be wondering, okay, where can I get this type of salt? Go to where they sell organic product. You can buy this from where they sell spiritual things like spiritual shops. That's what you want to get. So once you get that bag, please, you want to make sure that... The reason why I'm showing this is because I'm just to demonstrate this with you right personally i have bags and bags of salt in my house that i use them for different reasons right so now once you have that you have to make sure that you activate that salt first it's very important the activation is very important this is to give it added power okay added power you have to awaken the spirit the power in it to make it work like fire for you now, let me ask you, have you ever used salt before? Okay, I'm not talking about any other salt. What about sea salt? Have you ever used this for any spiritual items, any spiritual work at all? Whether it is for salt bath, whether it is for cleansing, whether it's for even to, to activate your work, because you can use salt to activate items too. So, which one have you done? Let me know in the comment section. And when you did it, did it work for you? Okay. Even if it has not worked, okay, if you have never done any spiritual assignment on this channel already, please do this one. Okay, that's why I'm teaching this right now. It has proven to work. It is working and it will continue to work. What I'm teaching you here is not many people know this. Even if anybody would know this, these would be spiritual people. This would be the spiritualist. So I'm sharing this with you so that you can take advantage of this and do this immediately so please 
when you get that bag of salt activate it you're not going to open it up yet you can use this that same bag okay just put it on your window or you can keep it outside your house this is not a rush you don't have to rush through it if you don't have the salt wait till you get it so once you get it just activate it if you like you can keep it under the moonlight okay overnight then when it is in the morning you can use it this is to give it i mean to to attract to awaken its spirit its power and to make it powerful to turn into a powerful tool for you so once it has been activated they're going to bring the salt in let's say this is the bag of salt right now so you have to make sure that you get some currency from your country some currency whether it is paper money whether it is coins whether it is cowrie shells any of these it's fine so just make sure you get something but the bigger the currency the better that's what i wanted to do for this one the bigger the currency the better if the biggest currency in your country is 10 number 10 use it if it is 20 if it is 50 use it it's still your money you get what i'm saying so now before when you are doing this i really wanted to do something for me you know i always tell you everything you do you have to do it with faith with belief that things are going to work for you if somebody tells you that things doesn't work because even if you have faith they don't know what they're talking about okay i'm a living testimonies i've done this several times i've done a lot of spiritual work and they work for me like fire that's why i'm teaching you to to do this too so now you'll get some currency from your country any currency or even the baby there if you have a bigger currency please use it but if you don't it doesn't really matter just use what you have so now you're going to make sure you take this salt that bag of salt you will open it just open it a little bit don't open it all the way don't open the whole bag just open it let's say this is the bag right now just open one side a little bit so now you will say your prayers to that salt okay remember your prayer is the catalyst that makes things work faster so you will do this when you are in your bedroom if you like you can do this in your office if you like you can do this in your business premises anywhere that is comfortable for you but you know this is a powerful spiritual exercise that needs you to be very concentrated you have to concentrate there should be no distraction you should be able to concentrate and should be able to stay in an environment where everything is quiet where nobody is going to disturb don't nobody is going to destroy i mean uh, distract you okay that's why you, you have to choose a time there's no specific time if it is in the morning that you have time please do that in the morning if it is in the afternoon that you have time, do it in the afternoon. As long as it's quiet, you can concentrate. You are you are able to communicate with God Almighty. So now, after that, start to say your prayers. You will say everything that you want to happen to this. You will hold the, uh, I mean, the salt with the bag. You will hold it in your hand. Then you will keep the money on the other hand, and you will say the prayers to them. Even if it is the last money that you have, please use it. Somebody may be asking me right now. Okay, if that's the last money I have, use it. Because what you're doing is to your own benefit. You get what I'm saying? Even if it is the last one, God knows your health, whether it is the last money you have or not. So, but you can use it to bring abundance of money to yourself. Okay? So now you will say your prayers. You will say your name seven times. You will say, as I use salt and money together today, I use salt to flow abundance of money to me today. I've been going through a series of lack, begging, depression, anger, going through lack, debt every single time. I always have the same story year in, year out, every time. No money. I'm always begging. So today, as I do this simple spiritual exercise, may money flow to me from everywhere. May money flow to me from the north, from the south, from the west, from the east, from the north, everywhere. 
from all corners of the heart, from the north, from the south, from the west, from the east, in the mighty name of God. As I do this simple spiritual exercise with, with salt today, I flow abundance to me. I flow money miracles to me. I flow wealth to me. I, you keep saying all of this to yourself. What I'm saying, I'm just giving instances. I'm giving examples. When you're saying your prayers, you may definitely say whatever you want. You may say things according to how you feel, according to what you need. You get what I'm saying? This doesn't have to do about attracting money alone. We all have different wishes. Your own wish is to cancel your debt. Your own wish may be to attract money to yourself, to get money, to buy that house, to get money, to buy that land, to get money, to buy that car, to, to I mean to pay your rent, to pay your school fees, whatever it is you need it. That's what you want to say. And it doesn't really matter how many wishes you say to this. You have to really set your intention. You have to really say your prayers. You have to say all of that for as long as you want. Now, one thing you have to take note of when you're saying your prayers, please make sure that you believe in what you are asking for. Because a lot of people, we may say, okay, I want this, but you don't really believe in what you're doing. Deep down within you, maybe you know, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Sometimes we don't believe things, but we just say, okay, let me just try it and do it. Things won't work for you. You get what I'm saying? Or let's say, for example, let me give you an instance. If somebody wants to do something and they are doing something else. What they really want to do, they leave that, but they're doing something else. You get what I'm saying? I don't know. Maybe that example that I'm, I'm giving you makes sense. So they don't really have a belief in the, what they're doing, but they're like, okay, uh, let me see if it's going to work. You don't do things like that. And that's the mistake majority of our people make. So whatever you do, have faith and believe in it. And that's what made it work like fire for you. So now, after your prayers and everything, you will say from today, money will never cease in my pocket. Money will never cease in my bag. Money will never cease in my pocket. Money will never cease in my hand. Money will never cease in my wallet in the mighty name of God. You can say this for as many times as possible. If you're a Christian, even if you are not, you can read Psalm 23 and use that as a point of prayer. Read the old verses of, I mean, that, 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 that chapter, chapter 23, I mean, verse 23, I mean, Psalm 23, read the old chapter. And also read the Philippians chapter 4, verse 19. Make sure you read those two scriptures on these things and use it to pray. Okay, after that, you will take this money. You will just fold it towards you. You will fold that money towards you. The money is like this. Just fold it towards you like this. Okay, just like this. That itself has its own spiritual significance to what you do. It has its own spiritual significance because you are flowing wealth to yourself. You are flowing prosperity to yourself. You are flowing money to yourself. Abundance. Okay, to yourself. After that, you're simply going to take this money and keep it in the salt. Okay, remember I told you, you're not going to open the salt all the way. No, just open it a little bit on one side and you're going to just keep it inside the salt. Okay. So, that little space that you open, remember you open a little space on the back. You're going to use something to seal it off. If you have like a, um, a staple or you can have something like just to seal it up, something to, to hold it together so that it's not that open anymore. So you have to seal it up. That's essentially what you're going to do. You can use a tape. You can use tape, right? Just to seal the hedge off. And after that, go keep this salt somewhere. Just take the old bag and keep it. If you like, Keep it in your, I mean, in your kitchen. If you like, keep it on your window. If you like, you can even hang it on your, on your, on your door. Any of your door. It may not be the entrance door. It may be any other door in your house. If you're doing that, if you like, you can keep it on your bed. 
if you like you can keep it in your wardrobe in a very safe place that's what i'm trying to say just keep it there for as long as you want so what you're going to do every single time is let's say every morning when you wake up before you talk to anybody before you say anything to anybody you're going to wake up and bring, take that bag of salt in your hand and say your know, and say your prayer again you will say as i put the money in the bag of salt as i put the money in the bag of salt as i put the money in the bag of salt may money flow to me may I bought you that's the prayer you're going to be saying i become a money magnet and make sure that your prayer your prayer everything prayer you're going to be saying it has to be in the present tense please present tense because you remember the future never comes so there's no future as far as i'm concerned so you have to be present now and now you get what i'm saying so now you will say i am a money magnet now money flows to me now wealth flows to me now prosperity flows to me now i'm a money commander now i command money every single time you know you get what i'm saying so don't say oh i will manifest money no that's the future so make sure you are communicating everything you're saying in the present tense and you are communicating as if god is here in your presence at this time or you are in the presence of god at that specific time okay that's what you're going to do and keep that bag of salt with your money in it keep it for as long as you want there's no specific day to keep it just leave it there and watch what will happen to your money okay not that money is going to magically appear i'm not telling you that but that source of living your source of living that job that you have that business that you have everything that you have you will see that everything will be increasing there will be favor from people that you know and people that you don't know people that have mocked you in the past they will not come they will be even be begging to favor you to help you after doing this then you will see that your money will start to increase multiple sources of uh business opportunities money multiple money sources will be coming your way after doing this whether you are looking for contract you're looking for job you're looking for a uh, business you want to you want your uh, people to patronize you you want people to love you and all of that <laughs> everything will be coming easily after doing this thing okay that's essentially what you do for these powerful but simple spiritual exercises i want to believe that this is very helpful so once everything has worked for you everything has worked you've got what you wanted you may decide to continue to live this okay even if it has worked for you you may continue to live it to increase i mean to flow more abundance of money to you if you like you may dump the salt and take your money back and put it back in your bag or in your wallet or in your purse whatever you want to do you may do it again and again and again even if it has worked or you may continue to leave it so that money if you don't want to do it again you can simply just take it put it in your purse or you can give that money to somebody or you can spend that money it doesn't really matter so what matters here is the main thing and what is guaranteed is money must flow to you okay prosperity must flow to you everything that you desire in life must come to you in the mighty name of god amen 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 so i want to believe that this video is helpful i believe that it makes sense to you i believe that you learned a very powerful but simple spiritual exercise to attract money if it is a blessing to you let me know in the comment section right now if you love this video if it makes any sense to you at all please let me know in the comment section and make sure you like this video don't leave this video without liking it and god almighty will bless you if you know anybody that will need this kind of video please share this to them share it on your facebook share it on your whatsapp share it on your instagram share it everywhere let it be a blessings to many people out there and god almighty will answer your prayer as you do this today god almighty will shine his eyes upon you you will never go empty-handed and yours will never be difficult everything you've been praying crying to god almighty for may it happen to you easily all your miracles blessings 
should come immediately to you now in the mighty name of God. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, all of you, for watching. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for joining. Those of you that are new, if you love what we do on this channel, continue to watch us, become an active member, subscribe to our channel, and turn on all notifications for more videos like this. And for you, my long-time supporters, thank you so much for always coming time and time again to watch me and to do all the spiritual tips. God Almighty will bless you. Thank you. I will see you in my next video. If you have any prayer requests, start putting them in the comment section and I'm going to reply you. So join me in another, for another powerful spiritual exercise in about 20 minutes. God bless you abundantly. I'll see you. Bye.